Hi YouTube friends, it's your favorite girl Sunny and today we are going to be reviewing the Cho Quick Charge 2.0 charger which is compatible for charging the new devices that support the Quadcom 2 Quick Charge 2.0 like the Nexus 6. Now this is Quadcom certified and so far my testing has shown it is it works great. So in this video I will actually be giving you an overview, a review and a charge test with my Nexus 6. So let's get started. So here's a close-up shot of the Cho Quick Charger. As you can see, the size is very small and it fits inside the palm of my hands very nicely. So it is great for travel and bring it in a backpack. And also comes with nice and long USB cable. They do recommend that you use the USB cable that comes along with the device. But you can use your own USB cable. They probably want you to use it because they know there is a the gauge is thick enough, some of the cheaper USB cables might not have a gauge thick enough so it might cause extra resistance and heat so your phone might not charge as fast so they, the manufacturer does recommend that you use this. So let's go ahead and show you the size of the thing. So it's two inches by one and a half. Oh no, this is about one and three quarters right here and it's about three quarters of an inch on the side. To set this part up from other chargers I'm gonna go ahead and unplug the USB. As you can see in here, there's actually, it's labeled blue, the blue used for USB 3.0, but in this case, it's actually labeling this charger as a Quick Charge 2.0 charger. So before I get into the charge results of this thing, I just wanna say this charger will work with a regular phone. It is actually rated at five volts for 2.4 amps. So if your phone does not support the Quadcom Quick Charge 2.0, then this will charge your phone at the maximum charging speed at 5 volts, so this will work as a regular charger. But it will also work as a fast charger for phones that support the Qualcomm 2.0 uh, protocol. So this charger is rated at 9 volts at 1.7 amps, 12 volts at 1.3 amps, or 5 volts at 2.4 amps as mentioned. And the test results will be compared to the Anchor charger right here. This is a 40 watt 5 port um, Anchor charger. This is a regular USB charger will output a maximum of 5 volts at 2.4 amps. So just as a note, later in the video, I will actually have a few charts of my testing results uh, popping up on the screen here. Feel free to pause the video anytime to get a detailed look at the charts. And also, if for some reason you cannot see the charts clearly, I will also be uploading the photo publicly to Google+, so I will have a link in the video description below to that post so you could get a better look at the charts. So let's get started. Okay, so first of all, let's get started with the um, Cho Quick Charge Charger. I did this test with the USB cable that came with the charger. I did this test at um, beginning at 7% and the total time it took to charge it was uh, one, min one hour and 52 minutes. So as for all the way up to 50%, it charged at an average rate of 1.28% per minute. And after that, up to about 80%, uh, it charged at about a 1.2% per minute rate. And anything and everything after that, it was charging at about a 0.98% per minute rate. So now let's move on to the anchor charger, which outputs 5 volts and at uh, 2.4 amps. And I did this test with, this is a Centi micro USB cable. This is a pretty high quality cable. I already showed this in my vlog. It's got aluminum on here and housing, and it's got a rope-like now I haven't been able to find anything else like difference between this and the stock charging cable. So this is a premium cable. Now please note that some of your uh, cheaper cables might have a smaller gauge wire and it might not work as well. So please take note of that. So this is the sequel to your stock charger cable. I got this because, well, it matched my phone case. So let's go ahead and show you this. So this is the charging results for the non-fast charger. It charged at a pretty constant rate at about 0.68% per minute, all the way up until about 92%. Then after that, it was charging at about a 0.6% per minute rate, all the way until up to 100%. So overall, if you have a phone that will support the Quick Charge 2.0 protocol and charge faster like the Nexus 6, I would really recommend that you get a fast charger, especially the Cho charger right here. Well, this is the only one I've tested so far, but I would highly recommend you get this. As you can see, with a non-fast charger, actually, I started that test at a 5%, and it took a total of uh, 2 hours and 38 minutes. While the quick charger, which started at 7%, took a total of 1 hour and 52 minutes, and it 
was charging it up at a faster con faster rate than the regular charger. Also, as for the fast charger, it was charging up at a really fast speed all the way up until about 50 to 80 percent. It was charging at a pretty fast rate of uh, between 1.2 to 1.28 percent per minute. So I do recommend this quick charger from Cho than a regular USB charger if you do have a phone that supports the Quadcom Quick Charge 2.0 protocol. So overall, I'm enjoying this charger so much over this regular charger. Of course, I like my regular chargers when I don't need to charge my phone that fast, but as you know, if you have a really busy lifestyle, sometimes you do not have the time to sit around a charger and wait for your phone to charge. So this is very handy because you can actually fill up. Uh, let's see. How long did it take? Because in half an hour, you could charge your phone up by about 40%. So that is very good. So as you know, the Nexus 6 battery can last for about 24 hours on a charge, so once you charge it up 40%, it will last for several hours. Or even at about 15 minutes, I got about 18% charged, so, well that was 14 minutes on my charge test, but, yeah, you know. So it, it charges their phone up very fast. I will highly recommend it if you have a Nexus 6 or a device that supports the Quadcom Quick Charge 2.0 protocol. So as always, the product links will be in the video description below. I participate in the Amazon Associates program, so when you do buy through my links, uh, I, Amazon do pay me a small commission. It won't cost you anything extra. The commissions always help to go fund new videos and my photography. So I hope you have enjoyed this video review and the charge test. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!